One of the consequences of leaving the European Union will be a major shake-up of farm subsidies and that could make the intensive and expensive farming of crops such as wheat and barley much less attractive. But some farmers in the Midlands are already trying a radically different approach, which they say drastically cuts costs. But does it all also mean cutting yields? Well, our rural affairs correspondent David Gregory Kumar has been finding out. Overbury in Gloucestershire sits in a landscape that's been farmed in much the same way for hundreds of years. But these fields are where an experiment is underway, much to the interest of the locals. Farmers have been ploughing for centuries, dragging a plough behind a horse and then a tractor, turning over those big lumps of soil. But increasingly, farmers are starting to stop ploughing altogether. This field hasn't been ploughed for four years now. It's rich, crumbly soil and it's full of earthworms. And for farmer Jake Freestone, the sniff test is the clincher. And then break it open and inhale it as you, as you break it open and it should... Ah, oh, that's, that's earthy and composty. Yeah, which is what we want. Encouraged by the results in this field, Jake has stopped ploughing completely and he also grows cover crops in between the wheat and the barley so the soil here is never left bare. And he's not alone. There's a growing online support group for farmers like him. Share the knowledge, share the mistakes which is also key so that we don't all 25 of us make the same mistake 25 times, hopefully one person does it and then tells the rest of the group not to be so stupid. We've visited Jake several times this year, seen the cover crops, watched him plant the main crops straight into them, no ploughing remember, and seen the harvest. And now with the last of his oilseed rape just sold, how has it all gone? You can always say it goes better. In farming, I think the year I get every crop right is the year to retire because it'll never happen again. Um, made a few mistakes along the way, but overall uh, very happy with the way it's gone. It's been a big investment, um, but it's one that will payback in financial terms but also in environmental terms as well. There are big upfront machinery costs like this enormous drill but the cost of production and tractor fuel bills on the farm have roughly halved and yields are still around the national average or a little bit better. So as the sun sets on standard farming subsidy we could see more farmers abandoning their ploughs. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minister Today, Overbury. Hmm. Interesting idea. Now you can find out more about the plough-free farm on David's blog on the BBC News website at the address below.